we close our eyes when we meditate to get rid of as many distractions as possible and to get us out of the world of our range of vision. Think of how large that world is. I mean, everything we know through the internet, everything we know through the media, it all comes through our eyes. If we were to cut off that world, what would have left? We'd have the world of your sensation here inside the body. And that's yours. The world outside is not yours. You have some control over it, but not much. A lot of things you can't change. But you can change what's going on inside, because this is totally your territory. You have to learn how to reason with yourself. Because there are lots of voices in here that you've picked up from outside. You've got to sort through them. It's not all of them come from outside. Some of them are voices, of course, the ones you've made up for yourself. But you've learned how to talk to yourself from outside, so the language and the ideas come from outside. If you were to put all those aside for the time being, what would you have left? We've got the breath right here and the sensations of the body. And unfortunately, we don't have much of a vocabulary in English for how the body feels from within. This is why it's useful to have the Buddhist vocabulary about the different properties. There's breath, which for him is not just the air coming in and out of the lungs, but it's the flow of energy throughout the body. And there's warmth, and there's coolness, and then there's solidity. And then there's a space that surrounds and penetrates these other properties. Try to get in touch with those. Try to see how this language applies to you. So when there are disorders in the mind or disorders in the body, you can check first the mind to see how the mind is thinking, and then look at the body. Here again, we have some control over what's going on in the body. Not total control, but we can have some influence. If the body's feeling too cold, you can focus on the warm spots. If it's feeling too hot, you can focus on the cool spots. If you're feeling dizzy, lightheaded, focus on the solidity. If you're feeling depressed or down, okay, focus on the, the energy that permeates the body and circulating all the time. There's a lot to explore here. There's a lot to take advantage of. But we see it clearly only when we put aside, for the time being at least, thoughts of the visual world out there and be more in touch with what they call pro proprioception, your sense of the body as you feel it from within. Because it's right here that the mind and the body meet. And all the issues of the mind will show themselves right here, in fact, a lot more clearly when they're right here than when they go sending outside. Because when they go sending outside, they pick up a lot of issues from outside, and you're not clear about which issues are the outside issues and which issues are your own. But when you're focused right here, you begin to realize, okay, these are your issues. If you clean these up, then you realize that the suffering that you f sense either from within or from without all comes from within. And you can clear up this issue, then there's nothing more to suffer from. There are pains, of course, but the mind doesn't have to suffer if it teaches itself well. So get in touch with this area of your awareness. Try to emphasize it as much as you can. Because there are lots of beneficial lessons you can learn right here.